President Knapp, Board of Trustees members, family, and friends of Washington and Jefferson College. It is indeed an honor to know that this college, which played such a major role in forming my philosophy of life and also provided me with an education that provided a foundation for not only a rewarding pursuit of science and technology, but also to provide provided me with a great interest in the humankind, the problems which our nation faces, and especially which the more minority of which I'm a part has faced. When I came here in 1946, uh, it was uh, a welcoming community. Many veterans from World War II whom I befriended because on several occasions or others they would uh, gladly purchase an expensive book which I needed for a class out of their GI allotment. So the friends I made during those years lasted for a lifetime because I take the humanity of an individual very ser seriously and I maintain friendships over many years. I'm still in contact with some of my high school class graduates of Clareton High School 1946. I try to get a kind of a gathering of that class, but there are so few of us left. I called it the last roundup, but even the last roundup was unsuccessful. The uh, life has been very good to me in a sense because I think I used lots of energy and time in promoting my own future and the future of the others who around me. And that's why I take a great interest in education because it's the leveling field for those who come from poverty, for those who are unnoticed in this great society. I have an undying commitment to trying to make life more promising and more, and more pleasant for people who are in conditions of poverty and lacking much hope. I came from a family of five sisters, one brother, and a father who had zero years of education, but was a model because of his, in, his, his dedication to hard work and maintaining a family, and a mother who had an interesting name. Her name was Luda which is Russian, and that was derived from a great, great aunt who was the first college graduate of the family, born 1885 in Georgia, and a graduate of Tuskegee Institute. I look at my own life in terms of what were the basic elements which allowed a very poor family under many odds to have five of the children go to college and at least three of them learn, earned an advanced degrees. And what reinforced my outlook on the success of the family was what I learned here at 
Washington and Jefferson College. I saw sensitivity, knowledge, and humanity. And uh, those days, we had to go to chapel, and you had to ha have a semester in the Bible. The semester in the Bible was very interesting because you had to write a term paper. My term paper was on Reinhold Niebuhr, the great German theologian. And from reading of Niebuhr, I got the idea, reinforced idea of service. Niebuhr wrote books such as Moral Man and Immoral Society, and he believed in the social emphasis of the gospel. And I was able to acquire that knowledge here at Washington and Jefferson College. It was a welcoming attitude on this campus. I knew professors who were not involved in teaching me, but actually were extending a welcoming hand to my presence on campus. And I think that has enriched my experience here at Washington and Jefferson College. I could tell you so many different human relations stories that really tied me forever to this great institution. But I know time is of value. And uh, I just want to say that my life was shaped my life was enriched, and my life led to dedication of other human beings based upon my early experience at Washington Jefferson College. This is an honor that I will cherish forever, and I will pass it on to the, my children and hopefully my grandchildren and generations of Coopers after it. Thank you again for this wonderful honor. Thank everyone for being a part of this special dedication and encourage you if you have a little bit of time just to come and take a look in the windows you'll get an idea of how the the uh, special gathering space has been recreated as a place to honor Dr. Cooper. Thank you for being with us today.